Hi guys, a long time no see. I am vlogging today. Um, so I'm just gonna do my makeup while I talk to you a little bit. I'm just doing like a little basic makeup, um, my everyday kind of thing. I've been trying to, Lola's barking. I've been trying to like get into a habit of doing my makeup and getting ready every day. Um, cause it makes me feel good. So I'm trying to like focus on that. I'm like in this, like season of my life I feel like where I'm really trying to better myself and like heal myself um body mind and spirit so I don't know I just feel like I'm really like trying to find my purpose in life and like figure out like what makes me happy and like what I want out of the world and like you know all that kind of stuff I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about like manifestation and spirituality, cabalism, something like that. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and just kind of like taking, taking, taking power, taking your power back basically and like empowering yourself. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been like, I feel like that's what I've been really focusing on for like the past month. And I haven't really been vlogging because I also feel like I've been in this weird spot where I'm like, you know, I see everybody on Instagram and YouTube and I feel like there's so much pressure and like I can just like see how hard they're fighting to stay relevant and make sure they're putting out that content and like it just, like I get exhausted for them like looking at that. I don't know, it's just like, I'm in a weird spot right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Like, career-wise, I don't know what it is that, like, I want to focus on. I don't know if I want to pursue, like, um, social media full-time and, like, put my all into it and do that. Or if you know, and like, you know, start up TikTok and like all of that. Or, which to be honest, like that kind of was my goal. And I think I talked myself out of it because I have like a fear of, a fear of success. Um, I really do. And like a fear of failure. So I would rather, like subconsciously, I would rather just stay complacent because I'm scared to like push and see like what I can actually do. I don't know. It's really... It's a whole thing, but um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm like, I don't know if I wanna, you know, keep going and push harder with social media or if I just wanna completely like change it up and, you know, do something completely different. So yeah, that's kind of why I've been like off YouTube and I haven't been as active as much. And also, um, my uncle Chris, which if you guys have been following me for a long time, you'll know who this is. He's my mom's brother. He has um, disabilities, like mental disabilities and special needs. And he has like a, not a caregiver, well, like a companion who would like see him three to four times a week, but she is unwell at the moment, so... I've been like taking on that role and like taking care of my uncle and hanging out with him and like doing all that. And like, truly that brings me so much joy. Like I really think that I love taking care of people and like, I don't know, like getting them back on track. Like I, I love it. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, today's Wednesday and Wednesdays he has like appointments and stuff. Um, so he doesn't have, you know, I don't need to go there, but I've been doing that Monday through Friday for like the past month. Well, since a little bit before Halloween. Um, and today is what, November 17th, I think. So yeah, that's what's been going on. I'm really like on a journey right now, I feel like with myself to figure out what I want to do, what empowers me. Um, and you know pursue that so yeah <laughs> I've been like getting up at 6 a.m every morning even on the weekends and doing like EFT which is emotional 
emotional freedom technique. It's like tapping um, and trying to like heal yourself through that. Um, I've been listening, again, I've been listening to like a bunch of podcasts and stuff. Caitlin showed me this podcaster or, you know, speaker, Haley Hoffman Smith. And I just like completely like I'm obsessed. She's just so intelligent and like I just relate to her like I can connect to her and I just I don't know I just really like how she speaks. Um, it's like very empowering. So I will leave her information down below in case any of you guys are interested. I, I've also been listening to the weekly boost weekly energy boost. Um, it's like a Kabbalah podcast. So I can leave that down below too in case you guys are looking for something to really like, I don't know, believe in or like change your life. I don't know guys. I'm just, I'm just here trying to find the best version of myself. Um, I also started doing like bullet journaling so I can show you guys all of that. I think I will be doing vlogmas because it's something that I really enjoy and I think it'd be cool to like take you guys along my new routine. I've never really been someone who's able to be consistent. Obviously, you guys have also probably seen that on YouTube. Consistency is something that I've struggled with my entire life. Um, and this whole like new routine of waking up early and like moving my body in the morning and meditating first thing in the morning, I've really been able to stay consistent with. So I think it'd be kind of fun to share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, it's midday now. It's about 1230, but I did some stuff for the wedding. Also, my wedding is five months away. Like what? Oh my God. So much to do. So much to plan still. We have basically like all of the vendors locked in. Um, I'm just going back and forth with the florist now, like around the proposal like her proposal and like the contract and stuff and yeah like I don't know guys it's just becoming very very real it's crazy so yeah that's where I'm at right now that's what's been going on um I feel like I can show you better than I can tell you so yeah I'm just really like looking forward to vlogmas and being able to like share this new like spiritual journey with you hold on one second Okay, sorry guys, speaking of, my uncle just called, um, which I wanted to take the call, but yeah. So that has where, that's where like my mind has been lately. So I'm just trying to figure it all out. I feel like, I don't know. I needed this, like I needed this change. I needed kind of something to believe in um, and like focus on. So yeah, engagement ring is getting resized because it was like a size and a half too big. Um, my ring size is, uh, I don't remember if you said a 10 or 11. I have a chunky finger, but I don't have like a chunky um, knuckle. So he said it's more of like a tapered finger. So like it's just chunky at the bottom and then like tapers thinner so like you really have to make sure you get a tight fit because it can slip up over the knuckle so I can't remember if he said he ordered me a 10 or an 11 but my ring was too big so we got that we looked at some bands um just to get an idea of like what we both were looking for and what else is going on I did go to a bridal expo so I was like I feel like a bridal expo is something you just have to do like once I feel like when you're getting married um that being said I didn't really like it I was very overwhelmed there was a lot of people like I went to the so I went to the bridal expo in Hart <coughs> in Hartford I think it's in the Excel Center is that what it's called um and yeah, it was like packed. Like we waited online, but the line went through, like went all the way through the building outside, down the freaking um, block, like around the corner. It was crazy. So we waited in line. I was like already kind of like, whew, like I don't want to do this. It's too many people. I already know what it's going to be like in there. Um, and also like I already have all my vendors booked. I was kind of looking for like 
small vendors for like um, welcome bag things, like stuff to put in the welcome bags, um, little like decor items that I may not have thought about, things like that, but it was just too overwhelming. I mean, we did go in, but it was just like really overwhelming. So yeah, um, would I recommend a bridal expo? Probably not. Um, I think it's kind of fun to like go to one maybe like and just like get an idea. I feel like it's something you have to do once, but it just wasn't helpful. It was just really stressful. Um, but that's probably also because I have anxiety. <laughs> but yeah. So we did that. What else? I'm just trying to catch you guys up on the month that I have not been blogging. We went to a wedding this past weekend. It was um, my mom's friend Roseanne's daughter Christine and Ryan's wedding it was beautiful they're also so Christine and Ryan are also the couple who introduced my brother and his girlfriend Ryan um which is so funny uh, Ryan was actually in Christine's wedding so they call her girl Ryan because Christine's husband is Ryan also but it, he's a male so they call her girl Ryan um Eddie's girlfriend they call Eddie's girlfriend girl Ryan I don't know if that made sense but anyways they are the ones who introduced Eddie and Ryan together. And it was just like really fun and like, I don't know, it was a fun time. I love weddings. I mean, really, like who hates weddings? I love weddings. So we did that, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I ended up wearing the Fashion Nova green sweater dress to the wedding because I like didn't know what I was gonna wear. I was truly like, even up until Sunday, the wedding was like this past Sunday. I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm wearing. <laughs> so I just wore the sweater dress and it was fine. It was cute, it was whatever. I feel like we're getting down to the wire. Like I feel like the bridal shower is gonna be really soon and like the bachelorette party is probably gonna be soon. And I don't know, I'm just really excited. This is a fun, exciting time. And like, I'm really proud of myself for being able to stay consistent um, with this like new routine and kind of create new healthy habits. So yeah, I just feel like I'm in a really good place right now. I'm like working to be in a really good place. You know what I mean? I feel like you should never stop working on yourself. You can always be a better person. You know, you can always, you can just always make changes. So yeah, that's where I'm at actually have therapy at three o'clock today. So in about two hours, I have therapy. I think I'm gonna take Georgia for a walk because I had her crated up when I was in the shower up until now. So for like the past hour and a half because she's truly like in her terrible twos, you guys. Okay, I will say if you have any recommendations on like dog toys that are interactive or like that keep your puppy entertained, please let me know in the comment section down below because whoo, Georgia has so much freaking energy you guys like truly nothing tires her out not long walks not running around outside sorry um nothing tires her out so it's like if you don't have your eyes on her 24 7 like she can't be trusted so she has to be locked up because she literally will eat everything get into anything like she's just that in that stage which i really don't remember lola ever going through like lola was a i don't know if i just made the wrong choice in lipstick i feel like i did i don't like this <sighs> That was Morphe Peanut. It's not bad, it's just too red right now. Mm. I'll put Taunt over it. This is like my go-to nude lipstick. I freaking love it. It's Taunt by Morphe. All right, so yeah, I'm ready for my day. I don't even have on a real bra. That's why my boobs like a little squished. <laughs> I'm wearing like a torrid it's like a cupless, wireless bra situation. It's so freaking comfortable for when you're home. But yeah, my boobs definitely look a little uh, squished. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna head downstairs. I already had lunch, I had a turkey sandwich. I have dinner in the crock pot for later. I found this recipe online. I just like like 
crock pot recipes or like I like trying new recipes so I found this recipe for honey garlic chicken thighs and I'm gonna make it over some like either white rice or cauliflower rice and broccoli and I hope it's good I don't know me and like whenever I try to cook Asian food I always mess it up so <laughs> fingers crossed for me we'll see how it turns out but yeah I'm gonna head downstairs oh look these are some of the Polaroids from um <laughs> their wedding hold on aren't they cute I love photo booth so fun I don't know if these are the same but some more <laughs> and then black and white of course so yeah we have a photo booth for our wedding because I just love a photo booth I think it's so cool and one thing that they did have is they had this like book by the photo booth that the photo booth printed out two copies of the same like three pictures and then you glued one of the copies in the book for the couple to have and like write, wrote a little message that I thought, which I thought was really cute. So I want to get one of those for our photo booth, photo booth. So yeah, anyways, going downstairs. Mm -hmm.